Here's a different kettle of fish, boys. Here, you can see the level now, yeah? You can see the level what kids your age, maybe one year older, are doing, yeah? These guys are, are like young professionals. You can see by the way they play. I think a lot of us think we're good players, but you've got to come back down to earth now. You've got to start working a lot harder, a lot harder. We will give you information. Of course, we're still learning too. We're adapting. It's the first time I've coached in Japan. We're privileged to be to be the first Australian team to come here because this is something special, you know, 15-odd uh, pitches, kids already buzzing with excitement to try and get out there and start training and play their first lead-up games leading into the Yanmar Cup. So all in all, it's been a, a, f a fantastic first day. Yeah, last friendly tonight, we've had some, some tough uh, competition leading into the tournament, which is what we wanted. Um, uh, you know, I can't even begin to explain how much the team's improved in just, uh, you know, three days and, and, and four or five friendly games. Uh, there have been some unbelievable opposition that we played against for this age group and uh, we've improved 50-60% already leading into the first game tomorrow. I'm grateful for the opposition to come and play us because um, we're in a much better space at the moment mentally and physically and we understand exactly what we need to do to be competitive in the, in the, in the tournament. It's been huge, you know. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a graph, to be honest, with with the change of mentality. Uh, they came in as kids and they started to turn into the little professionals, you know. And uh, being on time, um, sleeping well, eating well, actually choosing what you put in your body and making the right decisions. Um, that for me has been a massive step towards the performances that we've been putting um, in the last couple of days leading into the tournament. I think that's the platform and the foundation of what's going to what's going to get us through, you know, the mindset and the ability to to really compete at this level. You know, now they are looking the game and I see how focused and concentrated they are and how, how, how competitive they are and how much they want to win. And for me, that's, uh, they lose themselves in the game. And I think as professionals, you know, young professionals, these guys will become, but even as a, as a former professional, they're, they're the best games, you know, the ones where you're challenged that much, where you don't think about anything except your role in that game. And um, when I looked out there tonight and I've, I've seen how competitive and how, how, how hard they work for each other and for the result, um, you know, it, it made me think, you know, we're getting somewhere with these kids. As the games go on, we'll keep improving. Five more games tomorrow, then two the following day. Uh, the sky's the limit for these boys if they put their mind to it. Well, it's not just the game, well, it is the performance and how you, um, like, what you do off the pitch, how you're resting, being on time. It's not just about football, it's about how you act with your teammates, how you act off the field, being on time, eating well, sleeping well. Oh, it's improved our performance because we're gelling together on and, on and off the pitch. And um, it's been a great four days. Um, uh, it's exciting, but at the same time, it's very serious. I've learned off the pitch about respect. Um, the, the Japanese, they just respect everything. Like, they, for example, they line their bags up. They don't just chuck them around. They just respect everything. There's no rubbish on the pitch. They're very respectful everywhere you go. They greet you. They bow to you. You should bow back. And there's, like, they treat each other with respect. Uh, I felt um, happy um, and felt happy for my own performance. And I couldn't have done this without, went there without my teammates, so I have to thank them as well. And yeah, I'm just, I was really excited. Great, because like, that's J League two and we haven't been to J-League 1, imagine that, like there'll be lots of crowd. Uh, probably first seeing all these really hard teams and seeing what competition is out there. Well, I think on this football trip to Japan, I've learned a lot, like eat, how to eat well, sleep well, and how to prepare for a game and how to also keep your body ready for a game. I learned um, it's a lot different here, in Australia, different here than it is in Australia. There's a lot of um, different uh, people and different style of football and uh, just the way they respect you on and off the field is just amazing. I really cared, the whole team cared um, because we lost. Um, at, back at Australia, we, do, we don't really lose by that much, but 
obviously we're in a different country so there's some different style of football and we have to improve that. Well the Japanese teams have been tough, they've been tougher than the teams back in Australia, they've been a lot more technical and they're very fast so it's a good competition.